Hi everyone, it's John and Becca here from Parks Travel Guide and we are currently on the island of Mallorca. In this episode, we're going to walk down to Palma Nova and see how things have changed and how prices are now in 2022 since Covid hit. So let's talk about how we got from the airport into resort. The journey takes around 20-25 minutes, it did for us last night because we landed late so we pre-booked a taxi with cheaptaxis.com. The driver was there ready and waiting as soon as we got to arrivals uh, with a sign with our name on. Uh, he escorted us to our vehicle which was a very comfortable ride, comfortable seats, air conditioning, what more could you want? That's right, so the way this company works is you pay £10 online and then you pay the rest to the driver in cash so your booking is guaranteed. Peace of mind. We haven't used them before but I think we definitely will again, it was a yeah, great definitely. service. So for those of you that know Parmanova, straight outside the back entrance of the hotel is this location. You follow that road down all around past the beach and then you'll get to the heart or the beating heart of Parmanova. So let's go have a look. So conveniently you have a spa, we got spa and uh, quite a few little bars and restaurants. So just thinking it is actually a Sunday so maybe it's just that places are not open yet because it's a Sunday so let's have a positive mindset maybe places haven't closed down but I guess we'll find out later on do you know I do love these type of shops you can find all sorts in them oh six pack coming soon yeah that's me you need that loading again this place used to be so popular let's have a look Diana's and um, it, it looks it looks deserted again I, I don't know whether it's because it's so early I'm hoping it's just because it's early they haven't opened yet I'm hoping that it's not shut down because it looks a bit tragic around here to be fair and uh, I don't know how many places have survived and how many how many haven't I know our important bar that we love out here called Castaways has survived because we drove past that last night on the way from the airport. But, uh, also on another note we hope you've enjoyed the Sri Lanka vlogs that we did. We certainly miss that country. I'm even sporting my monkey top today. So thank you all for, for joining us on that journey as well. So I'm quite hungry. So I think we're going to try and find somewhere to have some breakfast and maybe just wait for things to open and then hopefully we'll be able to show you some more. So Castaways, our favourite place. So let's go and have some breakfast. That was alright to set us up for the day, not bad. Uh, 12 euros 60 for two small breakfasts, a tea and a beer. Very good going. So we've just had a tip off as well that there is a market further up. So as we're walking up, we'll go and check it out and show you what else there is. Then you have to start that a bit as you know, a bikini up. Mm. Maybe don't film that bit. <laughs> How much were they? 18.95 Hey, traveller pants Yeah, we're not in Sri Lanka anymore yeah, 7.95 for those Wow So there's a couple of bars round here in this little parade that we used to go to There's Andy's, there's Piano Bar and there's uh, the Dolphin Bar as well Now why did we go? used to go into uh, the Piano Bar? Well, they used to have a happy hour But happy hour is no more in this resort so we just had a chat with some lovely people from derby so hello if you're watching nice to meet you hope you have a great holiday
You can't go anywhere without a McDonald's. Yes, a kids menu. Menu del dia, menu of the day. That's in. If you speak, if you speak Spanish, you'll uh, you'll understand that one. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. English menu. So six ninety five isn't really that bad. So make sure you come before seven o'clock. Oh, what's this? Lunch special. Oh, even better. Yes. All the oranges, fresh squeezed orange. Beautiful. Oh, so that was one euro fifty for a small one. It's two eighty for a big one. But that is absolutely beautiful. We've just walked past a, a golf place, Golf Fantasia. So I'm just having a walk up to it now, just so you know how much it's going to be for uh, when you go. Cause it's something to do, isn't it? If you're a family or just a group of lads, just want to have a laugh. So Golf Fantasia. We've decided to come in for a drink at Natalie's bar. Now, last time we were in Mallorca, we actually came here for a breakfast, and it was, it was pretty damn good, really. Three euros is around about what you're going to be paying for a pint of lager here. Becca's like gone for a martini bianco and coke, which is five, but I have noticed that all over, the price of spirits have just gone through the roof. It's crazy now. It used to be a lot cheaper, but I don't know why that is. Maybe we'll find out. Cheers. Right, so that's the market done. Uh, it's lunchtime now, or bocadillo time, as the Spanish say. So we're going to try and find a bit of a sandwich for lunch. But before we do, make sure you hit that like button and show us some love. to get a little bit of money out so we normally pay with our Revolut card. I've come to Kikesa Bank and it wants to charge us to withdraw money seven euros. I don't think so. Cancel that. We, we can pay on card nearly everywhere here so uh, but I'm, I'm not paying seven euros to get my own money out. Not a chance. That's ridiculous. So you may see when you're away these seeds that's that's not family friendly that one um but these yeah do you know what i'll tell you now don't waste your money they don't work i had one i planted it waited two years nothing weeds that was it nothing yeah save your money spend it on beer somewhere in the midst of filming that i've lost becky uh i actually don't know where she is i'm currently a lost husband and i'm trying to 
to find it. Um, I, I really don't know where she is. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll stand in a place, like, in the open, so she can come and collect me, and we'll see if, uh, we'll see if that happens. How long is it going to take? Someone got a timer? Still got her. It's not good, she's either spending money, or she's looking for me. So I've been coming to Parmanova for a lot of years with family, so was John with his when he was younger. And it was always a very, it was always very much a family resort. It still seems to have that vibe, but it's just trying to get a little bit more upmarket by the, the feel that we're getting. Isn't that right, John? Yep. English getting burnt. <laughs> right, Revolut card. We'll try this one. Right, so by the looks of it, this one has done it for free because it's not even warned me about any charges or anything like that. Now I don't want another transaction. You've took enough of my money. Thank you. Um, so. By the looks of it, yeah, this is this one is a free, uh, a free. Oh, hey, look at that! I'm like an Arab prince. Look at the Saudi prince, I've got a 50 euro note. So yeah, so this one free. Touching on where we've just eaten, um, I can't really recommend it that much. Yeah, and I it, mean, it was okay. It was a sandwich, it was a bog standard sandwich, it was okay. Was it worth five euros? Probably not. No. It, and it pains us to actually have to say we don't really recommend somewhere, because normally we do. Right, Becky wants a Sunday, so let's see where we're going to find her. I have a Sunday on Sunday. Um, the last time we came to Parmanova, I actually shot myself in the foot because I didn't manage to get one because we ran out of time. Now I'm getting one. Amazing. Seven euros. We've got strawberries, cream, three scoops of ice cream it looks like, strawberry, vanilla and chocolate and a wafer. Mm. So are you really aware if you don't put your feet in the fee? No. Uh, Sri Lanka. That is quite cold, actually. Cold? Cold. So there is still stuff that's shut by that pub Orion that hasn't made it, unfortunately. Some stuff's still open, like uh, Three Brothers over there. But some shops to close because it's Sunday. Uh, what else? Oh, I think we've been here. Did we come here last time? This uh, barbecue place. We've had uh, something to eat here last time we were here with our friends. And it was all right. It was good actually. Yeah, it was. It was really good. So we're going to try and find to see if our um, our toasty man is around. So for those that don't know the area, if you're just starting to look over to your left now where I'm filming, that's uh, that's Torinova um, and it eventually loops round into Magaluf. So as you're flying out of Parma, that's what you generally see. Yes! Toasty Man is still there. Let's go have a look.
So we're back at the toasty bar now and we've had uh, a couple of pints so a pint here will cost you two euros fifty and a pint of copperberg will cost you four euros fifty so this is definitely the cheapest place that we've found so far and definitely. we are buzzing that he is still open yeah it's, it's amazing that he's actually managed to make it through covid hi everybody hello cheers hello hi nice spot in pablo nova Tandoori Nights. We have been here before, but we're going to check it out and see if it's still as good as we remember. So, as massive curry fans as you know, we had one in Tenerife, we're having one in Parma. We've ordered uh, a beef and chili, yeah. really spicy for me because I like it. Becky's ordered a madras, but will it be as good as Tandoori Hulk's madras in Tenerife? Yeah. We don't know, we're going to find out. Mm -hmm. And we've asked for garlic rice, we've asked for eggs, we love garlic rice. Yeah. 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 The beef is really well cooked and the flavours are there. Um, I wish it was more spicy. It's supposed to be spicy, I think it might have some more green chilies. Um, really good. I've, um, there's lots of flavour there, definitely. So that's the end of the meal. What do we think? Well, it was a good curry. It Compared was. to when we're, you know, when you were away somewhere in Spain, it was a good curry. I had to have, um, Extra green chilies, piled high, just to make it a little bit more spicy. Or the beef chili, but it wasn't really spicy. Huh? What do you reckon about yours? My madras was nowhere near as hot as a madras probably should be, and I think there was a lot of chilies in there, but it's not really about the chili for a madras. It's normally about the spices, but it was still really good. And yeah. I would still definitely recommend it. I think the, the flavours wise, the, the flavours were there. Um, it just needed to be a, just a bit more spicy, but it has to be toned down for the lovely tourists. But, uh, yeah. Overall, good recommendation. If you're in power over, be sure to check it out. Recommended by us. Well guys, thank you very much for watching. We hope you've got lots of useful tips and we hope you found it very informative. Well, see you next time. Bye guys. Next time on Parks Travel Guide, we check out what Parma has to offer. Try the best rated tapas place in the city. And two of our very first subscribers fly out to do some filming with us. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.